Hey everyone, it's Bosk, and today we're reviewing another ASIC miner. This time it's by Oblis Tech, and it's not the one that we already reviewed. Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the equivalent of the Obelisk SC1's little brother that's always living in his older brother's shadow. That's going to be the Obelisk Decred Miner. They released two miners, and one mines Psycoin, one mines Decred. And this one is not nearly as lucrative as the Psycoin Miner. However, uh, one of the key points I want to touch on, um, you know, as we go into this video, is the fact that these ASIC miners are sort of modular. And when I say that, I mean that you can replace and upgrade and add boards inside of these miners. So a Decred miner by Obelisk can also take these Psycoin miner boards, which opens this whole possibility window of potentially upgrading your miner which can make these a pretty creative buy if you're able to get your hands on those boards, which they have stated that they will be selling individual hash boards. Speaking of Decred, which is on the mining algorithm Blake 256R14, which is the only algorithm that the DCR1 Obelisk miner mines, what is that coin anyway, and why should you even care about mining it if you're unfamiliar with it? Well, Decred began about two years ago. I guess actually almost three. It was in February of 2016. And what I think is really, really cool about Decred is their main focus is autonomy, self-rule, stakeholders make the rules. And this is actually kind of only recently really kind of been rolled out. They're finally getting to where they have this system in place. But how interesting is it that you could have a chance, you could have a say, you could have a vote in the direction of a project. A lot of projects talk about this, say it's upcoming, this and that, but to be honest, it's simply not here yet. And, and I think over the next year, we're going to see a lot of projects finally start rolling this out. There are some projects that this has been going on, like PivX, uh, for example, um, you know, has their proposals take place on their blockchain. Um, again, you know, just to bring it back to Decred, obviously it's going to be open source, a classic crypto style. As far as the actual proposals that are going on right now, again, newer, not too much going on yet. But one of the interesting proposals I did see that did finish voting, okay, so... It's been finalized and it was approved and there was you know a decent chunk of change attached to it would be the decred contractor clearance process and with that it's basically a proposal to vet the con the contractors people making making these proposals working with decred um, you know in different fashions but the decred contractors will undergo a standard process to obtain a DCC, a decred contractor clearance. The process for obtaining a DCC would require three existing contractors in a given subdomain to vouch for the applicant's work or skills. And where I think, you know, where this piqued my attention is that this proposal was for approximately $25,000 in USD and bonuses up to $12,000. So, you know, we've got almost a $40,000 USD proposal. That's interesting, absolutely. Let's go ahead and review this actual miner before we talk any more about potentially upgrading it. First things first, just like the other obelisk, I think this thing is beautiful. The black and red color scheme, it looks you know years ahead of say an ant miner with just that bare basic. Some people don't care about that. I think it's cool, so uh, if you don't care about it, whatever. I'd gladly pay like an extra 10 bucks to have my miner powder coated. Maybe I'm weird. As far as the actual dash interface of the Decred DCR1, it's gonna look a lot like the SC1 if you watch our review on that miner. And you can see, you know, we got the nice dark theme, black and red, fitting with the brand and the, the miner branding there. And um, the miner, I've noticed that these miners, um, the DCR1 and the SC1 run a little hot, um, you know, all things considered. You know, it's in an air-cooled mining shed right now, but it's getting blasted with, you know, 40, 50 degree Fahrenheit air and you can see our hot chip temp is gonna be around here at 88 Celsius nothing to worry about But you know, obviously the cooler a miner can run um, overall. It's always ideal uh, Pretty simple interface here. You can set up uh, multiple pools right now We're hashing away on Luxor mining decred the really the only coin that this miner can mine You click over here to the mining config. We can set a custom uh, minimum band speed a maximum hot chip temp to where this miner will start throttling 
And they've noticed that they these miners get better performance. You know, you can hate on their firmware or whatever, but at the end of the day, at least they were man enough to say that it's best to reboot these miners every eight hours. I also really like that it'll automatically reboot if the gigahash per second drops below a certain point. Obviously, there's going to be some variance um, with the hash rate, but 150 gigahash is going to be an obvious something is very wrong. Let's go ahead and restart this miner. You can see the option to add firmware or anything like that or just reboot the miner. Obelix has one of the best automatic firmware updating softwares I've ever seen, so hats off to them on that. Overall, you know, logging in, you know, the base password is admin admin. Couldn't be easier to actually use this thing. But as far as the actual earnings of the Decred 1, it's, it's a little underwhelming. I'll be honest. Uh, over the last 72 hours, we've mined 0.19 Decred. And uh, our hash rate there is going to be one terahash a second. You can see that, you know, we're grooving along at one terahash a second, which is about a thousand gigahash if you're unfamiliar with that, which is a little bit under what uh, Obelisk stated that these were going to do. They said these are going to do 1200 plus gigahash per second. Maybe we'll update here in the future and it'll get a little better, but I wouldn't hold my breath. I wouldn't hold my breath on that one. As far as the actual energy consumption, you can see, you know, it's not actually a heater, but you know, most of these miners basically function like a heater as well, but we just got 500 watts in this basic calculator. Have it um, link out to this in the video description below along with everything else critical I talk about in this video. If you want to check it out, verify and uh, you know, dispute me on anything like that. All my info that I've used here will be there for uh, uh, to help you guys out the best I can. So the power consumption of about 500 watts, obviously miners are going to run 24 hours a day and that's going to use about uh, 12 kilowatt hours per day and at a electric rate of 13 cents per kilowatt hour which is you know roughly my 13 and a half summer rate uh, you'll see my energy cost per day is one dollar fifty six so what does that uh, equate out to with our daily earnings well the 72 hour earnings are going to be 0.19 decred also 4.1 or you know four dollars and eleven cents so you can see over the course of three days we actually uh lose money right now great no, no man yeah, mining's going great 2018 man it's been a great year for the lights man it's been a tough year for mining across the board all in all, the profitability of the Obelisk DCR1 doesn't really make sense if you have residential electric rates. If you've got cheap farm rates, I mean, this is still turning a profit. It's nothing to brag about, but it's still turning a profit. However, there's some more decred miners on the horizon that will be shipping very soon that will drive that profitability down. And that's where it gets really interesting to consider these miners for an upgrade play to put the Psycoin boards in. Because again, uh, Psycoin is uh, operated by Nebulous Labs and Nebulous is you know hand in hand with Obelisk Tech and thus they forked Psycoin to protect their investment with these miners and to fork the other players off their network. This isn't a video debating that good or bad or anything like that but that's the fact of the matter is that's what happened. And you could speculate that this could be a really clever hardware play is you pick up these decred miners cheap Hopefully they sell the Psycoin miners at a reasonable price or the Psycoin boards at a reasonable price and you just drop them in here and you've got a machine turning a good profit again. You know, obviously this is a risk. Your mileage may vary, but it's just like the people who were buying up Psycoin miners before they hard forked uh, their algorithm. People were buying the Psycoin miners for a couple, like several hundred bucks, and now they sell for several thousand one of the best plays in crypto mining this whole year of 2018. Personally, I think it's a cool, clever gamble. And uh, of all the things you could gamble on right now in crypto, and again, this isn't uh, financial advice, entertainment purposes only, uh, I mean, I would consider it. I think it's a fun gamble. D at least you have the assets, you have the hardware. Again, that's why I'm such a big fan of mining is because you have something physical that creates value. You put that investment in. If you put, you know, say just round numbers, you put 500 bucks in to get a miner uh, and you need 500 bucks in boards, you need 1,000 bucks. Once that miner mines 1,000 bucks after you paid your electric bill, boom, you're in the green, you're in the positive. You're you're gaining more than you could have ever gained if you just necessarily essentially you know it's all estimates but have just bought in because you have that finite amount and a miner can essentially essentially you know hopefully kind of create that infinite amount 
of revenue and returns and additional cryptocurrency. Ultimately, I think that the Obelisk DCR1 was a cool concept, a cool miner. I like the branding. Unfortunately, Obelisk was plagued by a lot of problems being a newcomer in the ASIC industry, being a US-based company, you know, dealing in an industry where you need all your stuff made in China, where the power ASIC producers are all in China, for example, Bitmain and InnoSilicon, they've claimed foul on some of them, saying that they have damaged their operation. Obelisk was very late to deliver their miners. The crypto community also put them through the ringer because of these delays and essentially unfulfilled promises until they finally got these shipped. Uh, you know, it, it's been it's a difficult situation because you really want to encourage new ASIC producers to enter the battlefield, enter the market, get in the game. But it, then they, they try, they hit some road bumps, then they get backlash, and at the end of the day, we still have Bitmain and InnoSilicon and a couple other players standing up there at the top. So, you know, it's tough to walk this line, and a lot of people disagree with their mindset or the way they've uh, forked Psycoin. So, you know, it's are we choosing the lesser of two evils here? I don't know, but I do think that this is a solid miner. It's been performing fine. It's had zero downtime updated the firmware on it and it hashed more reliably you know so the hash rate became a more steady stream and that firmware update was really easy using their honestly really slick software update it was click click you know find the miners on your network apply the update done really setting a, setting a good bar there for their competitors but that's unfortunately that's one of the few places that they set the bar uh higher with the with the decred with their decred asic miner so i mean personally you can't even go out and buy it. It's not like they're for sale. These are all based off of pre-sale last year. Uh, you can obviously buy them secondhand like I showed you on eBay if you should choose to do so. I, I really think the real gamble there is to buy the Decred miners if you have super cheap power and you're not worried about the incoming uh, uh, Decred miners from the other players like Bitmain, for example. And also, if you're considering trying to get the Psycoin boards and drop them in there, because that is really what could end up being the crazy play, dropping those in there and really increasing the earnings of these miners that draw relatively low power. So, at the end of the day, you're going to have to choose what you want to do. This is uh, my review on the Obelisk Decred 1. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up on the video. Please subscribe to Voxcoin, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. I just want to be with you. Yeah, I just want to be